Joy Sibo. Promise. Promise. That all have come to say to TRC. All have come to say to PRC. That they true. That they be true. Nothing but true. Nothing but true. Help me God. Help me God. Please be seated. Mr. Sibo, good evening. Good evening, sir. And welcome to the TRC. Welcome to the TRC. Welcome to the PRC. T, not P. TRC. TRC. Oh, TRC. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We want to tell you thank you for coming. And thank you. To see that by coming to the TRC to share your experience with us. You are helping the nation to find lasting peace and reconciliation so that we can be unified as one people and we cannot have the kind of violent conflict we had in the past. That is why when you come, we say thank you because it's a big step, it's a big contribution to the success of our country. So we say welcome again. Thank you. Okay, before you give your testimony, I want to introduce the commissioners to you. Thank you. At the far end of my right yeah. is Sheikh Kafuma Kone. Okay. Next to him is Umu Sila. Sila? Yeah, Umu Sila. Okay. Next to her is Gerald Coleman. Okay. Then immediately... At my right is Dede Dorope. I am Jerome Voidier. Hello, thank you. Next year is John Stewart. Yeah. And then Per Brown Bull. I would like to ask you a couple of simple questions before you, you commence your testimony. Yes. For example, whether you live here in Zwedru or where? Else. I don't live here in Swedu, I live in Putu. You live in Panokon. Putu where? Putu Panokon. I don't know name. Okay. Can you tell us your date of birth? Yeah, born 1939. March 11. What do you do as an occupation? Every day, what's your, what's your work? Now, yeah. I was started with traveling with Lanko as a weller, but now a farmer now in the country I own now. So I'm a farmer now. You used to work with Lanko? Yeah. But you farmer now? Yeah. What do you farm in? What kind of farming you do? I'm uh, doing the rain, uh, plant cocoa and thing. I'm in my own farm. Now it's a general township now in Pudu Penangam. General township chief. Yeah. yeah. Pudu is a district? Yeah, What's Pudu district. Pudu it's a district. district. Kunambo is a district. Oh, in Kunambo? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, you can now give us your uh, story. You can tell your story now. Okay. Me, I walk in with Vamro in Greenfield, Sando. The way I was working. I went to the factories a long time ago. We heard that this war is coming, but we don't believe that war is coming. We're working with a company. I paid man two houses in Greenville. I live in Farmer Bay in Greenville. Now, when the war will enter near us, my wife is a fire tour. You see, my husband, you see the people near us now, so let us go. I say, people can't come here. So my woman went to our family place. After that, my husband, your side, the rebel enter for true. During that right time, they say, we're looking for crown and manigo. That right time. New year when they come. They say, we're looking for crown and manigo. And I said, man. So, my look at it, it tells me I'm going to get half a drew. So I scared myself. I run behind my woman. 
You come and woman that one woman so I go to her place. Why are there when the boy be your ten? Some of my friends that know me too, they can't be your ten. Well, eighteen men be your small small ten. One lady came say, Sibo, they say, are you giving crap people here? They will come here. So we are from here. I say, ah. Then how many crap people are here? Only one man from where you are two times. Only two people here. What kind of crap people are keeping? They say, that was your kind of phone you. I say, okay. I tell my wife, I say, my woman, you better let go here. The people say, no, man, the people can't come here. I say, okay. Unless Friday, Saturday night, no, if you enter. Seventeen the number. I don't know. I will come here. They say, oh, then you will run away. The grandma said. Because that time the man was told them, say, well, you catch somebody. The loud one said, well, people, all the people, you all you want to bring them in town. We are seventeen the number. They put on the line. They call it plant side on the gate. They are bleeding and kill the people. Right, rubber on this side, I will be in Sando. Right, rubber on this side. I have machine they make from here over there. They are bleeding, they dig the gate. They are capping again, you are bringing people and dumb to be over there. They put one on the line. Seventeen on the number of my son. They say, okay, that is your time. They came fifteen behind me for it. Bo -bo 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 -bo. They came 15 behind me. Now I turn around again. I say, go. You live me? But every time I turn around, I say, a human. You all came in there for nothing, a human. Then the other man, oh, uh, white tea. I say, what kind of thing you talking there? I say, you human. I say, a human. I say, hey, come. I want to call my son again. I say, go, go to that lady there. Go spend why you are human for true. So, I say, go. The thing I want to say, he want Think about hey. So I went to that lady there. I said, Mama, I hear me. The same way my mom bought me in the IL. All my girlfriend there with my friend. All of them, my friend that know me that live in the factory. Oh. All of them, you're laughing. Oh. You got a war. So I went to that woman there. The woman said, Where you come from? I said, I'm from Bound. She said, Oh, Bound. I said, In Nimba. They know, man, you don't know my man. You're afraid, I don't know what I need, my man. I said, what? If you don't know what you mean, I said, but why do you mean pay low? He said, no, man. All the men are there, he said, no, man, they're here. He's digging dama. That way, it's bringing you, you're not you, man, I cry, man, we'll kill you. So he asked me, all the key that ain't bound, me I play, boy I play, can't play, they are all the key in me. I call all the key in me. They ask the commission, I call all the people in me. Then the other guy that can't, the other guy now, he ran to, now he can't inside, now he say, Papi, so what we do now, we'll kill to Naruga. You go, see all your friends and lay down there. Laugh now. Laugh. So I laugh. I laugh. I say, hey. Then you see your friends that you laugh, they will laugh on you too. Let's go to Naruga. That, that Naruga will spend all the things to you. But we'll kill you today. You are your son. You let go to Naruga. They want to take the car. They put me in the car. They go on the San Jose Street. They play Naraka or Levin in Austria. They go cry out there. Naraka, why are you bringing a chicken here? Why are you bringing a chicken here? So that guy one and two and pull the paper down. He look at the paper a long time. Naraka look at me a long time. I say, okay, who is Naraka? I say, Naraka, I say, I don't hear you. He say, but Naraka in town. Then why you go air? He say, you kill me. Why you air? Why you know why you hear people? I I I got a town. I got a country. I in town. What you waiting for? I say, oh, you man, say, okay, you will die. This is that cause of me, cause of me. One man from outside, he kept him. He come from outside, he can't inside. He said, now, okay, what do you do with man here? I want you to carry him down to a finish with him. What are you doing with him here? And now, okay, I turn around again, so, oh. So, my say, well, okay, all the crap you now say, but I, I will join with a man. Then you come to me and say, what do you do with a man? So that you will give me all that, moving from me. Okay, yeah, I want to see him. You where you stand there now, you are Saki. Go to the police in the war. Naruka, you free. They carry me in the room there. They give me a short dress, a t shirt. I wear it. They say, Why are you woman? I said, ah, Where am I, woman? They grab her. 
Why my woman leave him? My woman not leave him. I said, I don't know. Only them are leaving son. I hear myself working. I want to know. He said, okay. Go to war. When you go, where you are close, save for your woman, let your woman come in town. Nobody tells you again, you use paper. So, the must care no more you can. I said, okay. Now, when you were there, when you change Naroka, then we are not capping again, I'm a general again. Then the general do the one we bring now, because you're talking about Sabo business, Sabo and Kwan. All that one now, then crew men take over. I said, ah, they want my woman. They will go look at the farm way. I got a guy scared today, I can't put it now. I run away. Now I left. So that I call help me. A small story. Then my two I said, ah, uh, bay in Cliffy. <laughs> that one part, they boy me before they come, they come look for me. They boy my two house. I had to do to their lady. I got a swimming place there. That I can't have a few days. People put me together. I say, you, since you can't, you don't die in a war, that you a chief. I can't do your general time. You put up again now. But now I get paid for government now. For 2003, I now I get paid. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh. We ask you a couple of questions, and in doing so, we respect the fact that you came to talk to us, yeah. and we express sympathy with you. We say sorry for the terrible experiences you went through, yeah. to naked you before people, and then they are laughing at you and all of that for a responsible man. That's a disgraceful thing. Which is against international laws, Liberian laws, and all of that. And that's some of the reason why the TRC was established. So that we can find out how the citizens were treated, how their rights were violated. Then we use that to educate people on what their rights are and that you're not supposed to violate people's rights and that is wrong. So that's why we are happy that you came to okay. tell us your story. So commissioners will now ask you some questions so they can get some of the things you said very, very clear. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Uh, how long you stay in Sino when the rebels came and took over before you left for Putu? What was the period? Yeah, I went in Sino 73. And I there when we were for coming called Vambala until war entered that war movement to Sino. I went there in 73. Until 1990 war before I left. When the war reached Sino before all this thing happened? Yeah, I was in Greenville on the Sino. Yeah, you were in Greenville, Sino. What time the war entered Greenville? Before war, all this thing happened to you, yeah. Yeah, the war really entered. Uh, to my father's video now, we were under uh, 90, I mean, uh, yeah, 91. 91. 91. Uh, now the casual, me. Now the one. Yeah. Okay. Now the beginning part, or the ending part. That was it. Near the end part now. Near the end of ninety one. Yeah. And what time you left to come back here to Putu? Yeah. Now Monday or uh, uh, so what you call it? Me. Nante. I mean. Nante eight. Before I came to Putu. Before you that time, I was in the other side called the Kabade Way. I was in Halifax because the tension was in front. So I was in the Bui Small and Black before I come. Okay. So you saw Noriga with your own eye. You met him face to face. Noriga? Uh huh. Face to face. Because a man, a general again, I was on him before. Because he brought me to save me. So I see. You can describe him for us. But I know that because. And he reply, and they gave me, I know him, he's a slim man, tall, black. And when we were in the office, you got a time to room, you see the big man, you say, you know, he, he used to look at him long time, sir. But I see him, I know him. Okay, thank you. Ah. Check. <laughs> I hope you are taking your safety. 
as mercy from God, not that you were clever. And now I want to save you from being killed. But also, he is now testing you of your chieftaincy. Whether you will appreciate God, work for your community, render justice to people, and have sympathy and empathy for the poor, the old age, the agonized, the devastated, and the impoverished people as a result of the war. Having said that, you are among those who were lucky to be treated kindly by Noriega. How long did you stay along with, within the area where he was commanding? Well, the area, when I stay in the area because of Kamala, and I take my job, the same and I, I mean, only so. No, I said, how long you stayed there? You stay, you said you, you were there until he was transferred. How no. many months, how many days? Me, yeah. you know, test at that time, I can see, I uh, know, exactly it's five months. Five months. Five months. What was the behavior of Neriga towards other civilians besides yourself? Um, I'm sure to me, because I know the crisis, and I know my friend there, why I'm not going to be, are you giving the power, but you know, number two, if you go and look at somebody, say, I just there, walk to the police station, I sit down there, I say, no, they want to go home. But number two, I'm not concerned, so it's for somebody. I just get my ring, but I'm not even going anywhere. Because I know I'm so finny, you also have a hard time. You got to, so, not to die, that why put me in that problem there. So I can't see my friend, so finny, and I say, I saw your man. No, but now I even tell you, anybody from San Lucan is there. You can't say, you're going to cost me, or you'll be me. Nothing. Maybe you don't understand me. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't say what you were doing. Oh, okay, okay. But what Narega did to people before you, can you remember some of the things that he did? Oh, he was just good to everybody like the way he was good to you. Yeah, to me, I can say that, I always say, that way I'm calling my knee, I cannot forget it, and everybody you ask, that way I call me Chole Fala. I never do a cross it or somebody, so anything, I always do on my right. So I know it's sort of, I know. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'll say, to me, you know, bring people in my office. I go in my office, but I know both. But they can come to me and say, no, they man, they want here. Yeah. So I need to help people. What kind of office you got? You know, Saji again? You know that gone Saji, you know? You were sergeant? Yeah. yeah. First sergeant, staff sergeant, Star Star sergeant. Star Saji, you know that rebel Saji now? But Star Sergeant is a book person. Huh? But that, that one you're talking again, you just go on again, then you say, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said Noriega will transfer another person came. This person was a crewman. Do yeah. you remember the name of that person that came to replace him? They call him Jackson. Why, man, I can't kill you that one, you will forget. They call him Jackson. Jackson? Yeah. What was his behavior toward the civilians? Jackie, what that time? You asked him about Corner. No, the BB people. Corner Johnson. Yeah, but how you were treating the civilians? Oh, that one, but we can't talk again. That is my say today, you're going, you're going. You, you hear the man come for me again, and what? That one, they treat people bad, killing people again. So the five months you spent in, uh, in Greenville, with Noriega and uh, Jackson, did you see the burning towns or houses? He burned my own house. Who? I mean, the same Jackson. He burned my house. He burned my two houses. Where I be? That Jackson I burned your two I houses. Debla, I be or stay out. I be Debla. He burned his head. That way, behind me, come for me to give me. Were they used to harassed? And abused women and children. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jason and Noriega 
They used to take people's children, people's daughters, and make them their wives, or people's wives making them their wives. No, I want to, I want to tell you that you don't make me cry now. You want a woman say, a man say, you can't outside, you can't outside. You say, that my woman to be a woman. From the top of my children, say, be, be drunk. You can just dump people here. That one said, hey, that long story there. You can go where, then you dump children, people children. I don't know anything about it, then they put them in the drum, they put them. Blind people children. So they were loved by themselves. They got a good couple, that one part, they know you. I want to say today or today. They can't say today, they can't say tomorrow. Thank you. Mr. Sibo, thank you very much for coming to the commission to share your experience with us. Ah. Now, when they were killing the people in your, you know, to where you live, where were your children at that time? You talk about them killing people, a lot of people, you know, burying. That time, mm -hmm. that's one I'm talking about. That time, all my children were, we have all my children, I got nine children, but all my children were not with me, but only four children were with me. But all of you know, we, we are big people that we can go on the street and thing and go look for food. But children, but my woman, my children, if I we go without that, we can have before we look for food. So nothing happened to the children, your children throughout? Only my two children that died, that not with me, that in Maria, they, they killed that one there. But in Cleveland with me, my child not died there. I can't lie, I'm talking. Thank you. But well, they came my two children, but I in Maria, they came there, there. But not the one we made to the village. You say why they killed them? Do you know why? Or how? You mean the one that died in Maria? Yes. Because of the sin, one we're talking about, because of the war. They made that in the house and they cry. You remember their age and their name? Yeah. Please call their age and their name. The first one? The first one, Patrice Sipon. Born 1963. Yes. And the other one? Jessina Sibo. Born 66. All right, we say sorry. But what's happened to them? Okay. Now, you say you stay with Noriega for five months. Can you tell us briefly some of the activities Noriega was engaged in, in terms of the soldiers you ha he had with him? In this, among the soldiers, they had women or they had children? Oh, really? That I know. The soldier that came, you know, they got their own women, my real to really get women. So they don't bring in their women, they don't bring in children. Because they are killing people children, how they will bring their own children. My real to really take my own woman, I take it from you. When she find get it, take it. Your own woman said, I take it from you. So they're not traveling with a woman, they leave their women, where they coming from. They leave their women there, they leave their children there. But they carry our part of children, they take our part of women. So they don't bring a woman, they don't take children with them. I mean, those who are fighting, because you said they made you a sergeant. Yeah. Besides you, did you notice that he had other people below 15 or 16 that were carrying arms too? That one part, I'm going to tell you now, but look at where I'm see. that what I can say here. They were from the 14. I mean, the woman and girl from the 14. Little children say, they look at you say, say you, you, you be now, you woman. They can tell that one. When you were with Noriega, can you remember how many times you went on the front, on the battlefront to attack? I always say this, that the Namako, even in battlefront, because I just decided in town, when they brought people, or even people kind of talk, okay, I just there, but Namako, if you take one, go in the buoy and thing. I just stay in Greenfield town set, but Namako, if you, and I'm well, battlefront. I hear it, 
e we me but my say na ma go if you borrow from you go get some people who can go in from and people that can remain in town they can bring people then you talk and you physically them they want you know right they want not right we are talk in town but my say na ma go in the bui or go in town the 15 person people they kill can yeah. you remember the general at that time who killed those people before you said you were killing me you don't know what killing the people you told them you kill me or any left i'm talking about again you're going about you go down there you're going out uh, the man you're going to name by the name what we use our cause going white day white day that need and your ring you go you got a white car on your head then you got a lot of way i mean a lot of bad and long it behind a white and going white day white tail yeah the young need that one again white tail but right. they, they have any of them name cutthroat that one power you don't talk again cutthroat power like one that man who can be uh what they call it stand them when they bring the people man i told you to know say you're going to cutthroat so that man power if you're willing all of my pie but you see you're not using color you know i mean using color using color when they are gone, if I am going to say that I will call again, you know, what's the call through? You say, lay down, and you put a call out there. That I need remain on you, they call through. So the call through was just there to cut people through? Hey, you're there, get call out here. He got any other name besides call through? That one problem, you say, for the name, or you carry that one remain on you. So I call through, you know, I will know. You are scared, say, why you got to look for the people, different look for the name? When you say call through, say, yes, sir. You call the man through that one, you will question. You ask him, say, what you all on me? Thank you very much, Mr. Sidi. <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for sharing your story with us. I would just like to ask a few questions also to get more understanding for our future of rebuilding our country. Um, First of all, you mentioned about your special grace that God gave you to protect your life. We're at a time where you are online to be executed as part of the Crown Group. So my first part is, how many people do you think they actually killed that day in that group? No, I'm talking to, I'm talking to now, say we are 17. I'm going to take about 15 now. I know I said 15, I want to keep. 15. Well, 15. I mean 16, my son means 17. Okay. We don't want to scare our mouth there. Do you still remember the site? Did they do a mass burial or did they put them in the water or you mentioned some kind of place? Yeah, we got, place. they got a front row. Let me, me see. They did long, oh, y'all are there. They are there, sir. So when the time and the time come, when they all the people that day, all our seventy people can go. They put them in one hole, they put them before missing can go and put there. there. So you remember that site? I know the sites. Okay. Thank Greenfield. Do you know whether since that time there has been any burial activity to dig up those bones and the people or anything like that or ceremony to? Heal um, the dead. Do you know anything about that? Whether something it, like that has been done? Is it what? Is it what? No, not for, that, for, for that site, uh. do you know whether any kind of ceremony has been done by the people in that community for uh, okay. those who died there? Okay. You know, during our time, you don't even think about some of the money where people, someone died from you, you're putting together, you're all playing, keep it away, and that time, you know, you don't know. If I have trouble, you're not even able to think about your friends. You're funny about your life now. Uh, I understand. That's what I was saying after that time. Yeah. Since then, yeah. have you heard about anything like this? I don't even know about it. Okay, thank you. Um, another thing, you mentioned that you were able to t convince them that you were Gil because you knew the towns, the chiefs. Could you share with us how you were able to gain this knowledge? Did you live in Gio country for a long time, or was your wife from that area, or what? Ma, I want to name because we live from here. First, going that we went with Lanko. Lanko was here in Putu before. Mm. That's how we go. 1957, that they come here. Mm -hmm. 1955, then Lanko was here, but they ready to go. And so now all I want to be with them before, then they carry off. 
to lanko ba o leben yike pa so mo le dama o pe then da da na amon da fira o mo ba mo dama o pe o si afun den na dikin dama na wo ske da wa won ni mo na bu na a wo e gbu tuo kan ple ga ple all i want dama era da wa de i stay there until 10 year in nima da wa land da wa de Thank you. Um, your wife is from what what town? She's also from the same Crown ethnic group. Yeah, my wife is Sapo from Sapo. Greenville. Okay. From Namabo town or Kamak town. During this war, did you? What, what happened to your parents, your father and mother? Ah, uh, that one, uh, that one part. Then, then you know, now, now, now. now. My auntie, my brother, I say, nine. He died one day in Bapudu. You got your boy in Damama. He died one day, they carry them there because they're crown people. Auntie, oh, uncle, oh, sister, oh. He carry them together. So I noticed your family's been in the diamond business a long time. Then, during this war, did you notice the, any of the fighters were concerned about the mining or other kind of activity like that as part of their activities in the community? Like when you were with Niago, the NPFL, get involved in any of these activities and you connected to that? Or can you share any information with us? Yeah, I mean, I mean, those I know before, that what I mean, uh, I know, I want you to repeat it again, I don't understand, I want to. For example, I was just saying, during the time you were with them, yeah. did you notice them involving with mining activity, logging, or timber activity to be able to generate money for their act, for their cause? Yeah, I was doing there. Mm -hmm. First, I'm saying I'm doing on money. Mm -hmm. First, after that, then I came to. No, yeah. Yeah. No, um, the, not you, I'm talking about the, the group that you were with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. they involved in those kind of activities that yeah. you know of. Yeah. Okay. The rebel that I know that time, most of them, they are, they are doing their money. They are doing money. Even now, when they that time said, when some crew can come, say, because they will go to some place there. Uh, they call it, now when they can go there, say, you won't play them, you won't grab what you say, you won't let them mind, they say, 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 move on here. Yeah. So, more, they are doing money. How about General Niag uh, Nariego? Nariego? Was yeah. he involved in this type of activity? Because, as the head of the whole group there? They have the group, yeah, because when you jail Ola, you don't go there before you jail Ola, then are you doing? So, he can say, you'll go there. You can get all that so that he you used to notice any time where he would be talking with people to buy some diamonds or yeah, buy you know, some if he said he can take troops and then went to break and tree. Mm -hmm. The call out people are there, call out go, come people there, they call out people put their troop together. But the case you said they when they saw about you don't care you then they care you to wash and grab one and bring the go for him. So he's doing money. Now, during your experience, I noticed you say you were there from like 1991 or so until 19, maybe 98, right? Yeah. Is that correct, first of all? Yeah. Okay, then did you notice that when LPC came into the area, how did you deal with that? Because here you are now as a crown person, but saying that you're Gio, but now the crowns are coming to attack the NPFL. Yeah. So how did you live in that situation? But that time, because I, I want to sick myself, so when the FPA, I mean, when the other crew, when they come, I see in Harlem, the other ladies of Tekia, when Tekia came, he, Tekia, said for me, he said, you want to come in town, that I can escape to come in Pudu now. Because Tekia saved me now, because I'm not able to walk on the road, I am my children. Because people that are in the Bui, they are 14, they are not able to come in to Pudu now, to come in Granger now. So that Tekia said, since we're in town now, I will give you truth. And they will kill you. By, by the time, as I look on now. So that was around what year was that? 
around what time? 1994, 5, 6? No. The special day, my came really that 196. Uh -huh. That time, upside, coming. Mm -hmm. That and was when you left the MPFL activity and joined with this? Yeah, with the loss. Okay. Year? Because. When the true but they say the other people now they are coming. Other so people meaning who? Then I know that when people come in, the crown people now coming okay, to LPC. To LPC. All so right. I got to to go on my other side, mm -hmm. my side now, to leave from the other area too. Mm -hmm. That have my uh, general take care of the area that because we know equal now that the man to want empty. Take care. So, okay. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. So when you say okay. Let's go to the town. I have when I can it down, I say, you ready to join? I say, take care of it now. Not even now. I want to have to marry to go home now. Because the people threaten me now. So I can't be a man then again. I don't know what will happen tomorrow again. So I want to go home. I say, okay, we'll go to Pine Town. I'll get through to Pine Town and they will, they will kill you. You and your wife. Now, guys, let the era to come. Ah, I see. So you were able to make that beautiful switch you and know, be saved for yeah. you and your family. Okay. How about the model time, 2003? Well, how did the war meet you at that time? 2003? Yeah. So, hmm? Yeah, I forget. So, what is it? No, I mean, what happened what, to you? Were you, your family in Liberia? Had you gone to the Ivory Coast? And wherever you, or you were, what was happening to you? At that I'm, time, you can share with us anything? I'm on or? show now, I'm on percent. I can't, I, my children, and my wife, right now, therefore, you can't call it work call with me, nothing matter what happened to me. I see what's going on, the old days, the last war are coming now. Mm -hmm. We lay pee, we lay everything, but to me, I, my family, we lay already now, since I come. The how the people put together to give me the job, now we sit down. So where were you at that time, please? In Sino still or? No, I know Sino still from, I can tell you from uh, some days, six, I mean, uh, there, uh, some days, six, since I left. And now even it's past Sino now, sir. You go, I was scared to go there, sir. You got people know me. Where is that? Not is sick. Yeah, where were you, please? I said, I in Putu, yeah. Putu, okay. Yeah, Putu, Putu. okay. So two or three caught you in Putu. Yeah. Okay. And nothing bad happened there? Nothing happened there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Sibo, uh, thank you uh, for coming and throwing some light. I would just like for you to uh, throw some light on the activities of Noriega. What were the kinds of things he was involved in? What kind of orders he was given to kill people or what? Me, um, Naroga? Yes. What? Was he a good man? Was he a wicked man? Yeah, again, a funny man. Again, Naroga is a wicked man. He's a bad man. If I might carry all that to him, say, damn, my, my mama is to him one time. Then it's a wicked man. But to me, I can say it because what he did to me, he saved me because the man was behind me, he said, You're okay, the man. So to me, I can say, But I'm yelling, I say, Kill or kill or. But to me, a good man for me because he saved my life. So I'm a good man for me. But he probably might say, You're okay today. I'm, I say, I'm in front of me, no more again. You finish. Have you seen this Norega man since the end of the war? Again, I've like, never seen since the war. I've never seen. You got what I will look, you got that in Maria or what? Say, I can't put you up there, I lay down, sir. I can't go travel now, sir. Okay, thank you. Mr. Sibo? Yeah, ma'am. Listening to your testimony and reading what you wrote, you can see that there are certain times in one life, circumstances and situations. They cause people to do things that under normal circumstances they won't do. 
For example, you are a crown man. You identify yourself as your own crown. But if you are not saying you are a hero, you will be living for as they say to tell the story. So it's not that you deny your identity because willingly, but circumstances and situations force you to do it. So as we look into these things here, many things come up. And this is one situation that you brought up. Another situation, just like they say, Noriga, General Noriga was bad. He was a killer. I should say, he killed many people. But in your particular situation, so you saw him kill it, but you are not going to tell it to If it were not for Noriga, you would have died. So he saved you. So this just made the situation with us even much greater. For us as commissioners to sit down and think and ponder on the work that we have to do. It's just like taking up on a, a rock and putting it in a sifter to look for the gold, the diamond, and the rock. <coughs> because that we should do. We thank you for coming out to tell the story because it enlightened our minds and to wake up, give us a call to go that the challenge that we have to do for the Nigerian people is very, very great. And thank you because you can see a situation here. You say, oh, you came also from a victim to an alleged or, 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 or someone who had a title as an army person, a sergeant, and you will also show that you are forced to be a soldier or you also clarify your condition, your situation. Thank you very much, and thanks for try, trying to be part of writing the history of this country, putting things in the right perspective. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. I'm also, I'm too happy because when the people put them together, when they're coming, when I came here, I'm too happy to come because where you see what happened to you? How to come and spend? It's not something that the you know, music here. Right now, the war is over. We want P now. The P is being fighting on now. So we are on P now. So I thank you. We want to put in together. We all are all to be P together now. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You can leave now. Thank you plenty, eh?